Have you ever had an, a concussion or know someone who's had one? Well, it's my turn to tell you my experience to give you a tip or two and ask for your help. I'm Lily and this whole channel is about human interest stories and giving exposure to business owners or people who are doing something really interesting in the world. Well, this is supposed to be a short video, but also to explain why I haven't been shooting much compared with how much I usually put up. I had a concussion about two weeks ago on Veterans Day night, and it's been quite the experience. Now I gotta say that in my research for doing this short video, I looked at some videos on YouTube to see what other people had posted. And I would say some of the similarities are that we all seem to have some short-term memory loss, we're all fatigued and somewhat dizzy, and maybe our vision is slightly off. Yeah, so far, yeah, I'd agree. And in my case, well, I have ADHD, so sometimes it's hard to tell whether it is uh, as a result of that that I get tired from executive function type of activities, whatever, you know, something that involves organizing or decision-making, although usually I don't have trouble making decisions. But yeah, since we got T-boned in, in the passenger side where I was sitting and the airbags went off. That's how I had my concussion. Apparently it was a mild concussion. I did a little googling on a, what's considered a serious one. Since I'd never had one, I'm thinking, well, I didn't even realize that it's considered a traumatic brain injury, a TBI. Traumatic, I'm guessing because it's trauma or something that hits your head. Uh, I just uh, I even have a list here of what I wanted to mention because my short-term memory has had some issues lately, which isn't usually the case. And actually, what it seems like for me is inattentive ADD. And I have ADHD, the hyperactive, and I don't mean I'm running all over the place. It just means that my brain is constantly busy. And in this case now, I feel more like a space cadet or just spacey. And that's not a fun feeling. Uh, one thing I'd recommend that you do, and I'm not here to give expert advice because one concussion does not make me an expert, and nor do I want another one, nor do I want to be an expert in this subject, okay? One was enough. But I have learned the importance of getting an appointment uh, the day of, or at least the day after, and to mention to the doctor or nurse, whoever you talk with, that you had a, a you were in an accident so that they have specific types of appointments to give you like follow-up to motor uh, automotive accident or whatever type you were in and also to get your eyes examined ASAP. Uh, I had a specialized type of eye exam not the classic annoying kind where you they ask better one better two. No it was even tougher than that. It was like six exercises to measure how well my my eyes were focusing on certain points on the field or peripheral vision. Let's just say I've never had such a hard eye exam in my life. And now I don't know if it was six exercises, let's just say six for now. After, during each of those six, I had to stop because I was so tired. I mean, my brain just could not handle it. And as it is, my eyes are fatigued right now, but I really want you to know what I've been up to because I want to help you as well as ask for your help. So it just, uh, that's very taxing, but they, they mentioned to me that I was reacting to the test pretty classically for someone who has had a concussion, which is in a way good to know, to confirm what I thought was happening. And I've noticed, for example, my right eye, which sometimes want, you know, is lazy when I get really tired after maybe an hour of reading something. Now it's more like after a minute. Looking at screens is really tough. And we were watching the Formula One race with my husband on this last Sunday. Way too much action. Oh my God. Be careful with how much you watch the screen. I think I've been overdoing it. And also noises, as I've heard from other people, yeah, noises t start to bother me. Or even the phone. Talking with someone, even after two minutes, I have to really lower the volume. Because it's just the uh, 
it's like it's buzzing or something and I'm just going oh the vibration is just too much I I felt uh, let's see the next morning as though I was being electrocuted I mean not like I've ever been electrocuted but I'm imagining what it must feel like like a current just buzzing through your body it's just bad I am so glad to be alive and so grateful for airbags I mean, that was what gave me the concussion, but still, at least I'm alive. Uh, the other thing was that, uh, yeah, as far as short-term memory, I kept forgetting the names of people who were helping me. Um, yeah, the feeling of being spaced out and just dizzy. Uh, now, the other thing is that if you're in networking, if you're a business owner and you got a concussion, tell people that. And also even make a commercial out of it. In my case, I'd say, well, you bought, give yourself a concussion every time you're wondering, where are the customers or why didn't I think of that? Because my specialty is coming up with new uh, target audiences for you, as well as more exposure on my channel and teaching you how to do referral mark and networking way better and differently from how everyone has been taught to do it. I love helping business owners because not everyone is meant to work for somebody else. Especially, uh, I love working with uh, authors, like self-published authors, those in the food industry who are cleaning up their act and with all the policies that have been put in place about uh, food waste reduction, you'll need help with that. And it's a great way to market yourselves, so like zero waste or eco-wise, I think, or eco-certified. Contact me about that. And then healthcare practitioners, maybe ones that want to explain more uh, easily what it is that they do, maybe with a Spanish video or, I mean, I speak various languages, I also tutor. So uh, this is one of my ways of networking is telling you that I sometimes look online for short, uh, for part-time work. I can't look online that much right now. I just can't. I mean, it's like, oh, my eyes, right now they're dry. So, and I'm uh, at least using the concussion as part of my commercial, so go ahead and use it if, if, maybe if you got a concussion or if you just, um, you help people with concussions. Yeah, I'm going to be going to a chiropractic neurologist in a few days, and I went to complete eye care in Medina for that wonderful eye exam in Minnesota. That was quite the team. Um, what was the other thing? Uh, yeah, I'm overdue for being adjusted. Uh, what the heck? Um, this is what I mean about short-term memory. I had everything written down. Oh, just that it is... Ugh, I wish I could pause this, but on my iPad I can't pause it. Just reach out if you uh, know of somebody who needs help with their marketing. I don't do any of the... I mean, I do some social media, but I don't do graphic design, etc. Uh, or if you want to be interviewed by me. Uh, but yeah, my tolerance for being on screen is just zapped. And uh, what was the other thing about networking? Oh, no, no, actually, also think about, I, I never knew what concussions looked like from the outside. Uh, if a person you're talking with turns their neck slowly to look at you. It's not necessarily about giving you attitude, it's that they don't want their head to feel like it's spinning. And that's one reason I tell people, you know, bear with me, I had a concussion, I might have to leave this meeting early, or I might turn my head slowly to look at you so that my eyes don't just feel like they're going nuts. And my pupils got rather large. A friend of mine mentioned that. She say, wow, you're in flight or flight mode. And my blood pressure just went, whoo. So yeah, it's, uh, the person might be sort of spacey, more so than usual. Just have some patience with them, especially if they are soon, so new to you that maybe they're not comfortable to mention that they had a concussion. It might come, it might not be a new, a, a fresh con concussion in the sense of it might have happened years ago and it has lasting impact. I have much much more compassion for those with head injuries now. Not that I had none before, but I'm much more understanding, I guess you could say, and grateful that I still have a lot of my memory and I 
I'm doing fairly well. So, holy macros is long, sorry. Uh, comment below, please, uh, if you have other questions or, or referrals, okay? Thank you. Oh, and the languages I speak are German, Spanish, Hungarian, obviously English. Uh, what was the other thing? I don't know. We'll figure out. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thanks for bearing with me.